fifth graders, uh, I hope you guys are writing down all these idioms because when we go back to school, we're going to be doing activities. In this moment, I would like you to learn idioms and watch TV in English. If you watch a program in English, you're going to be identifying all these idioms and understanding better the movies, okay? So today we're going to start off with tossing and turning. Tossing and turning is como dar vueltas, like when you can't sleep. I say, oh, I was tossing and turning last night. I couldn't sleep. I had insomnia. So I was tossing and turning. So this is tossing and turning when you can't sleep. We have scoot over. A scoot over is muevase, corrase. When we say, come on, please scoot over, muevase. I want to sit next to you. Please scoot over. I want to sit next to you. Get, uh, to get the jitters. To get the jitters is when you're nervous. Nervioso. Nervous. Uh, that's the correct pronunciation. Nervous. When you're nervous, you get the jitters. So she said, before a game, before a soccer game, the soccer player gets the jitters. Or some teachers get the jitters to speak in front of many people. Maybe, maybe not. They're used to it. But that is to get the jitters. It wasn't a big deal. No era una gran cosa. So if somebody breaks a glass and then you're scared because oh, I broke a glass and my mom's going to get angry or my dad's going to get angry. Remember we say angry, mad. Mad is loco, mad is enojado. Angry as well. So when the father or mother maybe get angry, you think, oh my God, they're going to get angry. But then they say, it wasn't a big deal. It was just a glass. No problem. Okay? Then we say, he didn't even know it. That's, él ni siquiera lo sabía. He didn't even know it. So he got a good grade. And he didn't even know it. And he was suffering because he thought, I didn't get an excellent grade. And he got a good grade. So he didn't even know he got a good grade. To turn out to be. So sometimes you see a person and you say, ah, maybe that person's not a nice person. And then you think, oh, he turned out to be a good person. Resulto said. He turned out to be a good person. So that is to turn out to be. To turn out to be. Resulta. What comes to mind, that is lo que se me ocurre. So if you're planning an activity and the teachers are gathered, acuérdense que gathered, ya la vimos, que era reunirnos, gathered, family gathering, or if there are teachers, maybe a meeting when it's formal, but we say gather. When the teachers are gathered and planning uh, to have um, a, an activity and people begin to give ideas, we say, oh, this came to mind. Esto se me ocurrió. This came to mind. Let's have a party with customs. Con disfraces or disguises. También decimos disfraces, disguises. We have I'm not up to it. I'm not up to it is like your mom says, um, let's say, uh, uh, Dylan, uh, what would you like for lunch? And then you say, um, and the mother says, maybe we would like a hamburger for lunch. And then you say, no mom, I'm not up to it. No tengo ganas. I'm not up to it. So that means you don't want a hamburger. Maybe you want pizza. We have stingy or a cheapskate. When you are stingy or a cheapskate is the same, agarrado. So you say, my brother is stingy. He doesn't lend me money. Or my brother is stingy because he doesn't give me a piece of cake. Stingy. How gross. Gross is asqueroso. So when somebody, we saw last class, I think, throw up. When somebody throws up or vomits, you say, oh, how gross, que, que 
asco, how gross or disgusting we say as well, disgusting. But let bygones be bygones. Lo pasado, pasado. So if you have a problem with a classmate and then the classmate says, it's okay, I'm sorry, I apologize, you say to your classroom, to your classmate, let bygones be bygones. Lo pasado, pasado. I don't know his whereabouts. I don't know his whereabouts. Es, no sé su paradero. Where is he? Where's your dog? I don't know the whereabouts. In this moment, my cat disappeared. I don't know where. So I don't know his whereabouts. No sé su paradero, pero un anda. His whereabouts. It's a drag. Es, I taught you this word. It's a drag. Es aburrido. So you say the party was a drag. It's a drag to study all day sometimes because you're tired. So it's a drag. It's the same as it's boring. And we have seen this in class as well. It's a drag. To go bananas as well. We're reviewing some old sayings. I went bananas, se volvió loco. He went bananas, se volvió loco. To bark up the wrong tree. Es como... Literalmente, él ladró en el árbol equivocado. Pero es, te equivocaste. So, if you say, can I have a piece of your pizza? And you say, you barked up the wrong tree. No pegaste. I'm stingy. I'm not going to give you a piece of, of uh, pizza. We have to think it over. Piénselo bien. We must think everything over before we speak. Or we can say, think it over. Piensa bien. Do you want to go to a party? Or you don't want to go to a party? Do you want to eat pizza? Or do you want to eat hamburgers? Think it over. Piensa lo bien. On second thought, es pensando lo bien. You say, on second thought, maybe uh, Dylan is going to say, Mom, on second thought, I'm going to have that hamburger. I'm going to eat that hamburger. So, on second thought, pensando lo bien. In due time, a su debido momento. So when you're, you say to your mom, I want to go to the mall, mom. And your mother says, in due time, en su debido momento. Not yet, okay? In due time, en su debido momento. It takes one to know one. Es, toma uno para conocer a otro, pero está al ladrón juzga por su opinión. So if a boy does a mischief, una travesura, and then uh, he thinks you did the same. And you say, I didn't do it. You say, oh, it takes one to know one. Okay? So, to tell on is acusar. When your brother or sister tells on you, maybe uh, Sophia tells on uh, uh, her brother, and she says, uh, and he says, Matias says, oh, Sophia told on me. Me acusó. Okay? So you guys, I hope you see these idioms. You watch the video and you write them down. Remember we say write down? So when you're watching television, you will listen and understand. See you next Monday, you guys. Bye.